Hello, welcome to the Citrus Garden. My name is Christina. This is a reading for Taurus, or if you're just feeling drawn to this message for whatever reason, then it's for you. I am asking three main questions for this reading. The first one being, what is your current energy? The next one being, um, what is Taurus being asked to focus on? And finally, where is an area of growth? So I already pulled your cards, let's get started. We're starting here with the bottom of the deck energy. So the very first card we have is the horse, which I love so much. It's today just coming through very simply with um, the message of modest fortitude. I feel like that's sort of the overall energy of, of your reading and, and that you're in or, or sort of the, the theme that's running through all three of these questions is, is modest fortitude or your ability to sort of maintain your integrity and focus, I want to say, throughout this journey in general. Um, and I love today that all of the animal cards that I've pulled are either an earth sign or an air sign. So for me, that's talking to about like sort of bringing the spiritual into um, the physical. But because we're also talking about like earth and air are I think very complementary energies um, where the air is sort of the masculine energy and the earth is the feminine energy and so there's a lot of that sort of blending of those two aspects as as well because you also have here the deja vu which is absolutely talking about that it's like if you because if you think about deja vu and how we experience what that is it's like you perhaps you've had it you had a dream where something played out but of course, a dream is not just a dream. There's so much more that goes into it that I think that we as a community also don't explore enough of. But anyway, so there's this element of like, perhaps you had a dream and then you experienced a similar energetic phenomena in your physical reality, right? So it's like something happened in the spiritual realm and then it's echoed or actually plays out in the physical. And so I feel like there's this element here of that of I feel like there's like this understanding with you Taurus of like there there are two sort of realities that mirror or echo each other that kind of thing and with this with the sort of like the twins that kind of like there there's like a there's two there's two realities or two elements that sort of come together and and, and sort of have the same experience, if that, if that makes sense. But also with the sort of like split down the middle of like one side being a masculine energy, one side being a feminine energy, and you need both in order to sort of do anything or create anything. And I feel like Taurus for you, it's like understanding that or just like having some sort of epiphany or, or shift in thinking that is absolutely having sort of physical consequences or, or changes within your physical environment because the, for the tarot here, the magician was th at the bottom of the deck and then the queen of materials was underneath that and I had to take both because it's all of that energy, right? It's like a sort of perhaps channeling or just like gaining access to whatever this like spiritual sort of magic energy is, which is just, which is just thought, right? It's, ju it's just thought or ideas or inspiration, all of that sort of um, free form, sort of like airy spiritual energy, and then actually using it or allowing that to shift or change your physical reality. Um, and with the queen of materials, because so I feel like this is actually an energy that you're moving out of because for this queen of materials, I see this as being like an accomplishment or all the sort of accomplishments that you've um, established up until this point. But because it's strictly a materials um, card for you, Taurus, because you're an earth sign, like I feel like this is sort of like you're entering into sort of a new phase where you're accessing almost like a different source of of energy because i feel like before like up until this point or like short like up until this point it's the folk the focus or like how you've manifested or whatever it is has been sort of the modest fortitude it's like you know all the steps that you need to take 
to get to a goal, right? It's like, it's very like, put one foot in front of the other kind of thing. And you've achieved a lot that way, right? Like you've, you've achieved a lot, you've gone to sort of like this, like, I just see this as being like, putting all of your accomplishments on the wall, that kind of um, ex experience, I guess. Um, but now it's like you're accessing this magician energy where it's like you are perhaps experimenting with different ways of manifesting that that kind of shifts away from the strictly material and accessing more of sort of like the the spiritual or the the astral or um, the source energy, whatever, however it is that you connect or relate or want to put a label on whatever this is because everyone will have sort of different ideas of what that looks like for them. But anyway, so your current energy, you have these three um, cards today with where it, like two air signs and one earth sign in the middle. So it's, I feel like you Taurus are this hawk energy where like this one I always see is sort of being like, it's, it could be like sending a message, but also moving towards your goal. Um, it's a, it's a very sort of like direction focused, um, energy, but it's also leaving behind whatever, whatever this is. So I feel like Taurus, you're absolutely sort of moving forward and it looks like it's almost like you're meeting another with this bee energy. If it's not another, it's like, this is what you're going towards. It could be because it's a bee. I just think of like sweetness or like, uh, takes joy in their work, that kind of thing. So there, it's still work oriented or, or creation or community based or like very physical. However, there, there is some sort of like, perhaps this one, because it, I always see this as a portal. It's like they, they're able to sort of travel between these sort of, um, these two realities kind of is, is how I'm seeing it. It's like they can, they can travel between two realities really easily in a way that works for them really well, right? It's like they're able to perhaps access this magician energy a little bit more and if it's not a specific person for you Taurus it could just be like that's just what you are that's the goal or the the outcome that you're moving towards but it's like with this lamb it's talking about I always interpret the lamb as being very innocent um, but it it has sort of like this um, diamond portal it's like you're both being drawn into this space if that makes sense you're both being or it's like you're meeting in some sort of physical kind of um, state, but it's very innocent or new or fresh or something like that. Like it, it's, it feels like a very beginning or new um, kind of dynamic is how that's feeling. Um, and for, for these cards, so you have here, the first card is resistance, which is really interesting because uh, this talks about, well, first of all, in the physical reality, resistance is absolutely necessary. It's kind of like one of the conditions of, of this matrix that we're in is that there absolutely is resistance. And I feel like you Taurus or Taurus in general, the sign of Taurus is really good at making resistance work for them, right? It's like you understand how if you put in enough work or effort, you'll get a certain result up until a certain point. But if it's all this sort of like modest fortitude that every time, every step you take forward, it adds more sort of work or, or whatever it is, however it is you want to, you want to frame that into your sort of achievement. Um, and I feel like that's really helped you sort of maintain this sort of inner balance and calm. It's like, or, or stability or, or what this, what this card, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I know I'm going to say it wrong, but it's talking about, um, any sort of challenge that you encounter, you can sort of meet with this sort of inner balance, mental calm, because you know how resistance works, that if you just put enough effort into it, eventually it will dissipate or you'll get better at it. Or like, it's just like talking about like, um, 
Like, if you're, like, weight training, not that I know that much about that, but if you are weight training, if you lift enough weights, eventually your muscles get stronger, that kind of thing. I feel like there's, there's that aspect. However, I feel like there's something, there's something new coming in for you, right? It's like that there's something being shifted in that because you have the eight of materials, which is all of that sort of energy of, like, putting in all the work, um... The more that you practice or, or work at something, you, the more effort you put in, the better you become at handling that load or the weight or whatever it is. Um, but it's now, it's like there's something new or a new idea or it's, it's, it's almost like freedom from that mentality. Because as much as that has worked for you up until this point, Taurus, it's almost like there's something new with this magician. There's a new way of thinking that you're you're experimenting with perhaps or just like gaining access to all of a sudden and it's allowing you to move forward i want to say in a in a much faster um more i don't know how else to say it but it's like almost like something that you thought was impossible or it's like challenging how you believed like resistance and work could because I feel like that with this resistance card coming out it's almost like you expect your belief system is that things need to be difficult that you have to put in a lot of effort and it's almost like now what's happening next is like there's no effort involved it's, it's just easy everything just moves smoothly that kind of thing and it, perhaps that's a bit challenging that's almost like a challenging stance but i feel like you're open to it it feels like you're open because this emotions card is going out this one came out yesterday as well which i i find fascinating because it's coming through the whole different energy today because emotions can be both positive and negative for this one i was very much getting like um i went when i the last time i went to like the aquarium here in toronto um the jellyfish exhibit is just so fascinating. Like, I could just stare at it for hours, right? It's like, it's... But the thing about the jellyfish is that the, the jellyfish themselves are very translucent and transparent. But, uh, like, they're almost, like, insubstantial, right? If you, if you, if there wasn't sort of a display for the jellyfish, you wouldn't even know that they're there. And that's sort of what makes them dangerous. Um, but what's so beautiful about the Ripley's exhibit is that they 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 flash lights, right? It's like the lights shift from this sort of like pinky to purple and it really makes like the background stand out against the the jellyfish so you can see them and so they look almost like this vibrant purpley pink color, but it shifts. So you can you can, I literally like you can get just drawn into it and I feel like that's sort of what <laughs> what this energy is talking about it's like I feel like you've encountered this sort of um jellyfish energy which is absolutely positive today it's coming through as positive because it's 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 something that you may have overlooked in this place right it's like you may have overlooked it and it could even be just like access to sort of deeper emotions or 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 something like that um but it's like now all of a sudden this is at the forefront. They're becoming they're becoming more vibrant in a sense. And it it's it's drawing you in is how this is um talking to me today. Okay, and then here you have the hanged man, which typically talks about a new perspective, right? It's like this new perspective, this new perhaps focus on on emotions or a specific emotional state, I want to say, is allowing you to sort of overcome any sort of obstacle with ease is basically what this is talking about. And, <laughs> oh, sorry, there's just so much here. Um, it's a new perspective as well. But I want to say like, with like, cause I've always been so interested by the colors of this card with the hair being gray and the shoes being really teal, I always thought it was kind of like a weird, almost a random sort of choice. 
So it could be like a random sort of synchronicity or or thing that you didn't understand fully until this new aspect is coming in because we have this ecstasy card which today are an absolute match and I, I will explain why it's almost like because today when I put them together like this first of all the colors are both really vibrant I feel like that's that's what this is the whole reading it's like suddenly you have like color vision or a new vision a new ability to see some some aspect anyways but this hanged man was looking like with this parrot like a waveform right it's like this is like sort of the peak and then this is sort of the uh the valley um i don't know if you can see it but it was looking like a waveform and so it's like these are the two aspects the two um realities coming together even though they seem very different they're somehow complete together if that makes sense <laughs> The, the 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 spiritual aspect is somehow being completed in in the physical in some way if, if but it's allowing you to do work and it could be the emotional state of ecstasy of some sort or just joy or freedom right with all of this sort of like the hawk energy it could be passion as well with the night of inspiration And then here you have the Ace of Emotions, which I love so much because this is this is connecting with the um, the the emotion state. So it could be that you were in sort of like this because the emotional state could be very sort of heavy as well, right? Like it, and it's water, so that's opposite of the Earth element. So it's kind of like it's 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 almost like while you were sort of in the depths, if you were, if you were feeling sort of heavy and dark. It's almost like you you notice this this jellyfish element whatever that is i don't it could it'll sort of shift but it's like as you the more you focused on this the more it sort of showed you some aspect of of ecstasy because even if you were like feeling completely low and the opposite of ecstasy somehow that's it's a complete waveform right it's a it's the peak and the valley together creates a complete picture. Does that make sense? Okay, and then here with the Ace of Emotions, I always see this as being like coming up for air. It's like you were drawn into the jellyfish exhibit for a really long time just because it was so gorgeous and beautiful. Um, but now it's like, it's like you're moving on to that with sort of the experience of like, I now can can access this because perhaps you were overlooking this aspect in the past like look how beautiful these cards are together it's like being able to access or or um move on to some sort of like new beginning so i'm i'm at 18 minutes right now so i'm going to actually stop the reading here because i do want to try and make the readings a bit shorter and i'm going to in the extended on YouTube so you can go watch it immediately immediately after this I'm going to go through the rest of the cards because there's so much more here that I want to explore um, but I don't want to rush it and I don't want to just jam pack everything into one video so I'm gonna pause it here the extended's on YouTube you can go watch the next part immediately after that it's what should you be focusing on and where's an area of growth um, I do have other videos if you're interested in watching those. Thanks so much for sharing your energy with me and I will see you in the next video.